Can you really feel HIV symptoms just two days after a risky encounter? If you've been searching for answers or if you've ever asked yourself that question, you're not alone. After a risky sexual encounter or possible exposure, it's natural to panic and start looking for signs. But before you jump to conclusions, let's break this down with real science and facts. In this video, we're going to break down the facts, clear the myths, and give you real science-backed information. So stick around and watch the video till the end because I'm going to share the most reliable lab test you can take right now that detects HIV way before symptoms even show up. And trust me, this one test could be a game changer for your health. Each year, thousands of people are left with unanswered questions right after a possible HIV exposure. A common search term is HIV symptoms after two days. But here's the truth. The symptoms people think are HIV related often aren't. That's why we're unpacking this topic in detail to help you take the right steps immediately. Whether you're worried after a one night stand or want to understand your health better, this guide is for you. What we'll cover in this video, what HIV does in your body during the first 72 hours, whether symptoms can realistically show up after two days, why some people feel sick, but it's not HIV. When actual HIV symptoms begin to show. What is the most reliable lab test for early HIV detection? Myths about early HIV symptoms. What to do after a potential exposure. So let's start the video. What happens in the first 72 hours after HIV exposure? Here's what you need to understand. HIV doesn't cause immediate symptoms because the virus is just beginning to replicate. In the first one to three days, the virus enters the bloodstream. It targets CD4 cells, a type of white blood cell. It begins replicating rapidly. But during this window, your immune system hasn't yet started fighting the virus, so there are no outward symptoms. Can you feel HIV symptoms in just two days? Let's answer this directly. No. Most medical experts and health institutions agree that HIV symptoms do not appear within 48 hours. What people do experience, like a headache, body aches, or sore throat, are typically caused by stress and anxiety. Another unrelated virus, like a cold or flu. Third, psychosomatic responses to fear or guilt. In short, what you feel might be real, but it's not HIV symptoms. Why you might feel something anyway. Here's a fact many people overlook. Stress can create physical symptoms. If you're constantly thinking, did I get HIV? Your body can react in strange ways. Stomach aches, fatigue, muscle tension, panic attacks. And all of these can mimic what people assume are HIV symptoms. That's why lab testing, not self-diagnosis, is the only way to know for sure. When do HIV symptoms actually start? For those who do experience symptoms, it usually begins between one to four weeks after exposure, not two days. This phase is called acute HIV infection or acute retroviral syndrome, ARS. During this time, the immune system responds to the virus and symptoms may include fever chills or night sweats, fatigue, swollen lymph nodes, skin rash, sore throat. However, Here's an important point. Some people never experience symptoms at all and still test HIV positive. That's why waiting for symptoms can be risky. How to detect HIV early. If you're anxious about recent exposure, waiting weeks for antibody tests to become accurate can feel like torture. Fortunately, there's a better solution. HIV RNA test detects the actual HIV virus in your blood, not just antibodies. It can be accurate as early as seven to 33 days after exposure often used for early detection, post-exposure screening, and high-risk encounters. Antibody tests. Detect immune response, which takes time to develop, may not be reliable until three to 12 weeks after exposure. Bottom line, if it's been less than two weeks since your exposure, the HIV RNA test is the most reliable option. You can book a confidential RNA test at hivrnatestguide.com. What to do after a possible exposure. If it's been less than 72 hours, ask a doctor about PEEPS, a post-exposure prophylaxis, a 28-day course of medication that can stop HIV before it takes hold. If it's been more than 72 hours but less than 14 days, book an HIV RNA test to check for early infection. Follow-up tests. Even if your initial test is negative, a follow-up test after 28 and 90 days is often recommended to rule out infection. Common myths about early HIV symptoms. Let's bust some of the most dangerous myths. Myth number one, if I feel sick after two days, it must be HIV. This is one of the biggest misconceptions out there. After a risky encounter, people often become hyper aware of their bodies. 
Suddenly, every little ache or sore throat feels suspicious. But here's what's really happening. Your body isn't reacting to HIV. It's reacting to anxiety, stress, or something totally unrelated, like a cold you didn't even notice coming on. From a medical point of view, HIV takes time to trigger symptoms. Usually one to four weeks, not two days. Myth number two, no symptoms yield no HIV. Let's flip it. Just because you don't feel anything doesn't mean you're in the clear. In fact, many people who contract HIV feel nothing at all for weeks, months, or even years. The virus can stay silent in the body while slowly affecting your immune system. That's why testing, not waiting for symptoms, is the only reliable way to know. Myth number three, a sore throat or rash means I have HIV. Not so fast. These are very general symptoms. Sore throats, rashes, fatigue. These can be caused by so many other things. A regular flu or viral infection. Allergies, stress, even dehydration. Yes, these symptoms can be part of acute HIV infection, but only weeks after exposure, not immediately. And more importantly, they don't happen in isolation. They're usually part of a cluster of signs plus a known risk. So before you jump to conclusions, ask yourself, is this symptom truly unique to HIV? Or could it be something far more common? Myth number four, if I got HIV, I would know right away. This is more wishful thinking than reality. HIV doesn't announce itself with flashing lights. It's a virus, not a movie villain. In real life, many early symptoms are either subtle or missing altogether, and others are easily mistaken for mild illnesses. And because of that, people may go months or even years without realizing they're HIV positive unless they get tested. So the theory here is simple but powerful. Assume nothing, test everything. If you've had a potential exposure, don't wait for symptoms. Go get a lab test, especially an HIV RNA test if you're within that early window. Myth number five, you can't trust lab tests early on, so why bother? Actually, that's outdated. Thanks to advances in technology, we now have tests like the HIV RNA test, which can detect the virus itself as early as seven to 10 days after exposure. So yes, early testing works and it works well. Waiting for symptoms or ignoring lab tests is what truly increases your risk. Wrapping up this myth-busting session. Here's the bottom line. Don't self-diagnose based on what you feel. Don't rely on symptoms to tell you what's happening inside your body. Don't believe every headline or forum post you read online trust science. Trust testing. And trust that getting the right information early can make all the difference. And hey, if you're still feeling unsure, remember, testing doesn't just give you answers. It gives you clarity. And more importantly, peace of mind. When and where to get tested. If you're in the USA, getting tested is simple and confidential. You can schedule a lab appointment online visit official website hivrnatestguide.com. No insurance required, and all tests are FDA approved. Confidential results in one to two days available across the USA with over 4,500 HIV testing labs. Final takeaway, don't wait for symptoms. Get tested today. Symptoms of HIV do not appear in two days. What you may feel is likely caused by stress, not the virus itself. The HIV RNA test is your best option for early detection. Act early, especially if you're within 72 hours of exposure and may benefit from PEP. Take action today. Visit hivrnatestguide.com for quick, confidential, and highly accurate HIV testing across the United States.